Good afternoon everybody, Russell here from LJ Hooker Flinders Park coming to you from 80 Martin Court here in West Lakes. I've got to take you through a video tour of this one. After watching this you'll be able to apply online with confidence um, and mark that you have viewed the property. Um, so we'll start here at the front. First of all we have a very large driveway here for room uh, two car garage and two in the driveway. And there is some street parking here as well, although you probably won't need it. Now this court is um, quite private and quite exclusive. It's not a through road, so um, you do have uh, the uh, big shopping centre over here um, and all the amenities close by, but you are far enough off of it for it to be quiet. So we'll get started on the inside. So... We do have the entrance here into the property. I'll just shut this door behind me. Okay, so now we're inside. You do have quite a grand entrance um, for the guests and even for yourself when you come home through the garage just here. Um, it is full of light with three windows. It does have high ceilings and a little spot right ahead there for any art or anything you might wanna, wanna hang. So it is a bit grand. Now, as we go through this property, the paintwork has seen better days, um, but you will just need to keep in mind that it will come as it is. So we've got the two car garage in here, panel lift doors. The great thing about panel lift doors is you can generally fit slightly higher cars through it. Um, but this, this is quite a large garage in here, which is great. And once again, when you walk into your home, you're greeted with the, uh, a lot of light. So off here, we have the front or first lounge room slash living area. Um, this could be an office, it could be a study. Once again, lots and lots and lots of light, which is fantastic. Living space is quite abundant in this property and um, it is all on the first floor, which is great on the ground floor. So that is great. Um, could have this as a little sitting area, office, whatever, but you do have this room here. Now this room technically is a study sitting room. Um, if you were really, really wanted to, it could be a downstairs bedroom, making it five, but it is quite small. So we'll keep going through. It's worth noting this closes. It's good to separate these areas because when you work from home, and I've worked from home before, it's good to separate living from work. That is for sure. So we've got the little uh, intersection here up the stairs. But what we'll do is we'll start off to the left. So we do have the water closet with the basin and toilet. Right next to it we have the laundry with uh, plenty of cupboard space there as well. Lots of understair storage, which is great some spare bits and pieces for the home that does have to stay where it is so coming into the main living area it is quite a large space once again lots and lots of light natural light is great and the kitchen there looking over this so we probably have a dining table over there lounge and whatnot here but it is um very versatile so Unfortunately, I can't get into the backyard because um, my keys don't work in these doors. But the great thing about this is it is low maintenance, so you can see the whole backyard from here, which is very easy to maintain. You do open these double doors up, which does give an inside out, um, indoor, outdoor kind of living space, which is great too. And then over here where you'd normally put your dining table, sort of separated off, which is good. It's sort of very open living space, but it's got these little walls and that in place, which make it feel a bit separate, which personally I think is a lot better than just one big open room. So we've got the kitchen here, dishwasher, double sink, microwave spot here too. Room for double fridge. The fact that I can't exactly, 
means it's probably about around six foot. Um, so yeah, but I can never really just fit under all of them, would be a standard size. Uh, doesn't look like there's any room here for plumbing. Let me just, oh, no, nah, I'm wrong. There it is, there's the plumbing port right there. So that's handy. Um, we do have the 900 mil six burner gas stove and the built-in oven as well, which is fantastic. And then over here, if you've got a house this big, you're gonna need a pantry space this big. So you've got heaps of space. Lots and lots of space for all the storage. Fantastic. So we'll head on upstairs. These stairs are quite wide which does make it easier to get things up and down it. That is for sure. So when you get up here, you do get to the landing, which is room for another little living space. Um, could be like a little upstairs spot for, for kids or a playroom. Once again, lots of light. Linen press. And we do have one of the bedrooms. Now it's worth noting that um, it is ducted reverse cycle heating and cooling. So with two stories, that is incredibly important for many reasons, mainly because it gets hot upstairs. And you do have our uh, built-in wardrobes here as well. Mirrored, which is great. And look, the carpet has seen better days. Keep in mind it does come as it is. We have another bedroom here. This is probably a bit bigger than the others. It's almost like a second master without an ensuite. So um, this one here does have what we call the void. Um, every two story house has one. So half of it is taken up by a space in the wall and that's normally for wiring and ducting and everything there as well. So you do have one side here and this one does have two, no drawers though, all hanging space. Lots of light. Now off here we have the bathroom. Large shower. Toilet. And a very large bath. It's not very long, but it is quite wide. Fantastic to see. I don't have a bath at home, so I'm always a little envious. Wouldn't be very professional to use it while it's empty either, so let's not go down that road. Slippery slope. Okay, so you do have, once again, the wide hallways. Wide hallways make it so easy to move furniture. That's a given, so. And down here we do have another bedroom. It is quite large, this one, even though, you know, it's not very wide, it is just still quite large because it's long, so you could fit a bed in here. Um, some more drawers or whatever you might need. Uh, you do have another built-in there too. And then at the front we have the master, which is very spacious, with doors that lead out to uh, your little balcony here. Once again, unfortunately, I don't have any keys for that. And then you sort of see the uh, Spanish style roofs that uh, Westlakes is famous for. Big, walk-in wardrobe which if you've watched any of my other videos you know that i'm going to tell you that about this much is mine the rest is the partners right and then we have the bathroom got a walk-in shower here hotel style so no screen dual vanities very large mirror and toilet number three. All right, and that one does it for this property. Um, so thank you very much for watching. It is a long video because it is a very large home. Uh, you can apply online. 
for this one just keep in mind does come as it is i said it's a little bit on the tired side with the the carpet and the paint but i think with the right furniture this house can be spruced up very nicely so after watching this you can apply online mark that you viewed it and we'll touch base soon thank you very much for watching